Hello. Hmm. May I assist you with something? Oh, I see. You're our new employee. I've heard a great deal about you, so it's nice to officially meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Smith, and I will be your supervisor throughout your probation period here at the Foundation. Oh, that's just what we refer to your first month of work here as your probation period. I'm sure you've been debriefed on your new position, correct? Very good. So you are aware of the mentally and physically strenuous day-to-day -day tasks that you'll be enduring here during your employment. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started then, shall we? You have a very busy day ahead of you. How this is going to start, I'm going to have you sign your consent form. You do need to waive any legal allegations or anything that could come up while you are employed with us here. Just saying that we've gone over this information with you and the tasks that you will be undertaking while you are employed here and that we cannot be held responsible for any incidences that may occur. That are out of our control. You know, just standard legal procedure. So, we're going to start with this form here, and then I will do a cranial nerve exam on you. All of our employees have to go through a yearly physical cranial nerve exam and psychological evaluation. Since you are newly employed, you already know that you're psychological test is up to date as well as your yearly exam, but they did want me to run a cranial nerve exam on you to make sure that you are in tip-top physical condition to be working with the cases we've assigned you, okay? So if all goes well, which I trust it will, I will go ahead and debrief you on the three cases that we've assigned you. Two of them are more or less linked together and are fairly easy. However, the third one, I and a few others on our team will accompany you. Uh, that is one of our more difficult cases, and technically I am the supervisor of it, but it will be a good training case for you. So I will touch on that with you, and we will head over to your first case. Okay. Good. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. So, here is your consent form. This is for the use of class A amnestic. So we're going to start here, and this is just your consent form for maintaining the enclosures of the SCPs we've assigned you. So, you can go ahead and have a look at it. There are three pages here. So one, two, and then the third page is where you sign. So, here you are. And here's the bed. You don't have to look too closely. 
Like I said, it's just consenting to everything we've already debriefed you on prior to our intake. Okay? Away real quickly in your Thank you. And I will go ahead and put that in our system. Now we're going to go over your employee evaluation. Like I said, they have already hired you, but every year we have to go through evaluations to make sure that over time, after working here, that our cases haven't started to affect our overall well-being. And they did let me know that Everything you see here and read here is confidential, correct? If anything were to get out, there would be a immediate termination, if you know what I mean. Okay, good. Alright, you are starting at a level two, which is fairly uncommon. Typically, people come in at a level one. It means you showed high marks, so I trust you can handle the cases I've assigned to you. I see that you were able to already bring a yearly physical and psychological evaluation from your primary physicians, correct? I have your height and weight here and your blood pressure. However, I'm going to have a quick listen to your heart and your lungs. And then we will start your cranial nerve exam. Okay. So let's have a look, shall we? I'm just going to start by sanitizing my hands. I just got off of a case. And I was entering my information before you got here. I just want to make sure that everything is sanitized. going on in the world right now. This is the first step for me. And how are you feeling today? Hold still, please. I'm just going to get a little close. And one, two, three, four, Seven, so nothing to be worried about there. I see here that you're a biologist, correct? Very good. So, where did you work before? How did you hear about us? I see they recruited you. That's pretty common here. They like to go to people that they've heard about, that they know they can trust, and that they think they can trust. I've been here for a while, a few years actually. 
I'm not the supervisor over quite a few of the cases here that we're studying. That is why I requested another hire, which is you, to take over some of that load I've been working on. So, it's very much appreciated. Alright, I'm just going to take a quick listen to your heart and lungs, so if you could just raise your shirt for me a little bit. I do have to get a little close, I hope that's okay. Very good. Alright, take a few breaths in for me. Can breathe normally here. Very good. It sounded great. I'm not too surprised, like I said, you've already been through most of this process, so I'm sure that this cranial nerve exam is going to go pretty quickly. I didn't see any allergies on your chart, but not allergic to latex, are you? Okay, good. So why don't we go ahead and start with your eyes, shall we? Now, do you wear contacts or have any prescriptions or anything with your eyes that I should know about? Okay. Very good. may be a little bright, but try and keep your eyes open and don't blink for me. I'm just going to see how your pupils dilate. Okay. Just great. Start with this eye right here. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Over to the other side. Okay. Place my hand here and I'm going to swing the light from side to side. Okay. Do you have any discomfort? Okay. Next, I'm going to have you keep your head, neck, and shoulders still, okay? Try not to move anything and try not to blink. I'm gonna have you follow the light with your eyes. Sound good? Very good. Here we go.
you're doing great. Next I have this spatula right here And I'm just going to hand this to you And you're going to start by holding it over your right eye We'll do our exam and then I'll have you switch to the left eye, okay? Here you are Okay, so how this is going to work, I'm going to have you cover your eye very good. And I'm going to move my finger around and I just want you to tell me when it goes out of your peripheral. Okay? Very good. Here we go. And switch to the other eye. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Good. I will take that back. For this next eye exam, I'm going to have you look directly at the nose here. Again, try not to move your head, neck, or shoulders. And I'm going to hold my hands up to the side here and hold up some numbers and you just tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Here we go. you don't have any pressure or sinus infection or issues, we should help them. Okay. That feels okay. Okay. Now, did you have COVID at any point throughout this year? Okay. And any loss of taste or smell? Okay. So, it is important that you have your senses fully functional while working here. There are SCPs with scents you need to be aware of, you know, things of that nature. So, just wanted to make sure that we don't have any issues. I have a few vials here of different aromas, and I'm simply going to have you close your eyes and I will hold it up to your nose and you tell me what you smell, okay? I have three different bottles, so it'll be fairly quick, okay? Very good. Go ahead and close your eyes and we will start with the first set. Going to 
Make sure you get up to activate it. Here we go. Go ahead and breathe in. And tell me what that sound is. Love it. Correct. Very good. Go ahead and keep your eyes shut. I have the second scent for you. better. Coffee. Great job. So, it does seem like you have all of your sense of smell back, so that is good. I'm just going to make some notes here on the chart. shows here that you have just gotten back from a vacation before your employment. Where did you go? Was it nice? I actually just got back from leave as well. Uh, there was an incident with one of my cases, and let's just say I needed a few days off after that. It was more of a stay staycation, but it was much needed. Alright. Next, we're going to move on to your sense of taste. So, I'm going to take a quick peek into your mouth. And just make sure everything looks good here. So if you don't mind opening up real wide and going, uh, yeah, stick your tongue out as loud as you can. Very good. Just go ahead and see what put that in. That all looks really good. is the first flavor, so go ahead and stick out your tongue for me. And I'll just place a couple drops here. And 
because you love that only dissolve on your tongue and tell me what you taste yeah this one is a bit tricky but what does it taste like to you? correct, it is salt and vinegar flavored very good that one is a hard one but typically it helps if you've lost your sense of taste that one's more familiar, so here's the next flavor just need to do your hearing and your sense of touch. Why don't we go ahead and start with touch. So, I'm going to just feel your face here. Make sure everything is okay. Again, you don't tenderness or anything that I need to be aware of, right? Good. Good. Jaw reflex looks good. metal implement right here. I'm going to have you close your eyes for me, and I just want you to tell me where I'm touching your face. Okay? Alright. Here we go. Forehead, cheek, cheek, chin, nose, ear, other ear. Very good. You can open your eyes. Great. Can you smile real big for me? Good and frown. Right, and puff up your cheeks. Good, and a fish face. Good. Alright, I want 
you to shrug up and I'm going to try to push down and you just keep pushing up and don't let me move your shoulders, okay? Here we go. There you go. And I'm just going to turn your neck slightly. You have nothing to worry about. Everything is looking normal and healthy. You seem to be in great physical condition. So, I don't think there'll be an issue passing you or clearing you to go out and evaluate your case system. It is important to make proper introductions since you will be working closely with them. You want them to respect you and like you. Let's just go ahead and check your hearing and we will be all set. I'm going to start by taking a look inside both of your ears. So I'm going to step over to the side here. Again, I do have to get a little close. So I hope that's okay. Very good. Very well. I just need to do one last hearing test, and that is my team part right here. I'm going to have you close your eyes again. I'm going to give this a little whack. I'm going to hold it up right here underneath your ear, and I just want you to tell me when it stops. We'll do two on each side, okay? Alright, close your eyes for me. And here we go. And again. originally thought. There are no issues that I see. So 
So congratulations on being employed by our foundation. I would say you are officially employed now, but we do have that one month probation period. As I mentioned, I've assigned you some fairly easy cases, except for one, but you will be dealing with them a lot. So, why don't we go ahead and take a moment to go over your case files, and then I can go with you and introduce you. How does that sound? Okay. Here is your folder, right here. start with the easy ones. Your first case is a object classification of safe. The event date today is February 18th and the item number is SCP-105. She also goes by Iris Thompson from her previous I'll let you read her file, but she works with SCP-105-B, which is a Polaroid camera that when it takes a photo, can transport or teleport Iris to that location. So it is quite fascinating, very interesting. We will go meet with her first. Afterwards, we will go handle SCP-173. Now this object classification is an elusive and they are unsafe. They are to be kept in a locked container at all times and when personnel must enter SCP-173's containment, no fewer than three may enter at a time. So you and I and one of our colleagues will be joining us and we will introduce you. SCP-173 is an interesting case study. Um, the origin is unknown and they seem to be constructed of concrete and rebar with traces of like Krylon and spray paint. It's more or less a uh, concrete looking doll that you must keep eye contact with at all times, which is why the three of us will be going in together. One of us must be looking at all times, so if you need to blink, I suggest you say the word blink so we know that you are, so one of us does not. Okay, it'll be quick. We have to go in and get a sample, so it'll be a great way for you to, uh, Meet them quickly, okay? But don't let me scare you. I will just give you their file and you can read it on our way over to meet Iris, okay? So I've put that in here for you. So here you are. And let's go ahead and get going. All right, after you. 